here's your flip button right down there. When you flip it, the light goes green, and now this gray button is your line trim. And usually that just stays up at zero. When the tape returns are coming in, uh, you don't need to trim them up or down. They're just they're the right level, okay? Nonetheless, there is a trim in case, you know, the track is too hot or in case you want to boost it up there for any reason. But typically, those are going to stay right up at zero. The mic gains, of course, those are going to, remember, you set your fader to zero and adjust the level with your mic gain, right? So we have 48 volt phantom power. Um, there's an instrument button, and what that it does is uh, there's a quarter inch jack on the back, which is an instrument level. Like you can plug your guitar right into there and, um, and turn it up like that. I, I probably would never use that. I'd use a direct box. Uh, but there is a, an instrument level input. There's a pad. I think it's a 20 dB pad. There's your phase reverse switch. And then your flip, of course. And it flips it back and forth between the mic and the line. So, everything in mic mode, the red light, microphones are coming in. We hit all the flip buttons, and now we're in mix mode, where the line is coming in. And what normally comes in the line is the tape return from Pro Tools. Right? It's kind of like your mix B. That's what usually comes into there. So those are all the flip switches, right? Let me, at this point, <clears throat> kind of show you. Over here in the master section, uh, <clears throat> we can choose uh, different things that we want to address different choices we have for different things, the external machines, your solo modes, your monitor options, your meter options, and then a miscellaneous. And <clears throat> in the miscellaneous, there's a couple things like uh, if we want all of them to be microphone, we can hit mic and it switches all to mic. If we want to go to mix mode, we can hit all of them to line. You don't need to know this, you can just hit all of them one by one. No big deal, there's only 24, it'll only take you 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> but <clears throat> here, it's just kind of nifty to know that here's a like a global switch. Also, um, what did you hit before that popped up? The miscellaneous. miscellaneous. You choose miscellaneous. The miscellaneous is what you want to deal with. Gotcha. Um, also, and we'll get to this in a little bit. When you're when you're mixing, remember how all the tape returns you you bust out to the left right mix. All right, so on the tape in page, everything had to go to, to the left right mix. Uh, <clears throat> the left right mix on this board is called mix. This is the mix bus. There's two of them though. One's called the record bus and one's called the mix bus. Just think of it like there's two left right buses. One's called mix, one's called record. All right. If you read in the manual, you kind of understand the the way of thinking that there is behind that. But I don't think it's very important to understand. It's just two stereo buses. That's all it is. So again, when we're mixing, we would bus all these to the mix bus, right? Well, in the miscellaneous, there's a choice where we can send everybody to the mix bus or take everybody out. Everybody's the record bus or everybody out. So again, you don't need to know this, but it's kind of nifty to know that you have a global switch. Also, when we're setting mic levels, what do we do? We set the fader to zero and adjust the, the, the mic trim, right? Well, if we got 24 microphones or 16 microphones, here's a time saver. 0 dB in the miscellaneous menu again. Okay. I want to know if it brought it back down, but it didn't. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so there we have it. And again, I'm in record mode, so I want to put everybody in microphone. Okay. And this is cool. We have the phantom power on the front, so I'm going to make sure I don't have phantom power or anything I don't want. I'm just going to turn phantom power off unless I know I'm going to use phantom power. <clears throat> okay. Mic inputs. It routes the tape. And then the monitor is going to be what we mix in Pro Tools. Okay. Inputs from microphones. It routes the tape. And we'll talk about that, how it does that. And then we're going to do a monitor mix on Pro Tools. That's how it looks.